Hey guys, this is Marshall from Pacific Reviews, and today I'm going to uh, do an unboxing and review of the MyBook Studio Edition 2 4 terabyte, and that is the maximum amount of memory you can have for a Western Digital external hard drive. It's a it's an amazing piece of technology. Now it it can be configured into this thing called RAID 0 and RAID 1. RAID 0 means it's just basically like a normal hard drive. You plug it in, you can use Time Machine to get 4 terabytes. RAID 1 basically means it partitions it into two parts and it mirrors. So you can have it let's say you put a video into into it. Well, it would put the video into one section, one partition, and the video again into the other section. So you're basically kind of duplicating, but you're backing up at the same time. Uh, just some information on the box here. You get four terabytes. Now with this one, because the new Macs are only FireWire 800, or the the laptops by by that, uh, the iMacs and Mac Pros still do have the 400 and uh, obviously USB. Now these these have the FireWire 400 and 800 and for those of you who aren't that into Macs and Apples the 400 is a little bit more rectangular uh, looks almost like a USB but has a slightly rounded edge the 800 looks basically like a square with a little rectangle jutting into it um, so there's that there's an eSATA which means you can use it as sort of an internal hard drive but that's a little bit more difficult uh, to set up. I, I've i looked into it and it's expensive. You have to find a kind of cable and plug into your motherboard and then reformat it. It's a, it's a big pain to do. But, you know, you still can have a 4 terabyte hard drive, which is very helpful. Uh, the It does have a USB 2.0. Now, there's a USB 3.0 out, but I'm not so sure about that. But 2.0 is fine. You don't need anything more than that. So now I'm just going to do an unboxing. And while I'm doing this unboxing, I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna say uh, some information on it. If you do have the four terabytes, you could have 250,000 songs. Now, that that's a lot. Uh, if you, I think that's just one terabyte. Those 250,000 songs. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the uh so here's the box. I just took the plastic off. Here's the information side, so I'm just gonna move this back and zoom out a bit. So let's see, I guess you go like that. So I'm just gonna open it up here. You can see the you can see the hard drive itself right there. It's in these in a plastic holdings. Be very careful because it's not exactly mine, it's my parents, but uh, careful. Okay. It's pretty heavy. Uh yeah, very heavy. Difficult to take out of the box, but again, four terabytes. Okay, there we go. Put that to the side. So here is the uh, here it is in just kind of in its packaging. Uh, now it does kind of look like a coffee maker, but uh, it, it's just the plastic thing that they put in the box. Before I get to undoing the hard drive, I'm going to go through what's inside the box. Uh, let's see, there is, uh, just some kind of information, quick notes about it. It, uh, it tells you where to go to for support. Here's a Western Digital Utilities disc that you can install, so you can use Western Digital supported software on it. Uh, this is... I think it's warranty information. 
Uh, I'm not sure though. And here is the pamphlet right here on how to how to adopt it on folds and yeah. So that's it. Move this stuff to the side here. Just a minute. Okay. So now I'm going to undo this. Let's see if I do like that. Okay. So it, it kind of folded down like a book. Here, I'll just kind of move it so you can just just barely see everything. Okay, so here's the hard drive. I'll just take this out for a second. And it it's a very, very large hard drive. It's, I mean, here's my hand, and my hand is pretty large. Uh, I guess for a frame of reference, I'll just use my iPhone for a second. It's about one iPhone across. It's not very mathematic, but it's an iPhone across. Okay, so now I'll look at the cables. So here, let's see, is the power. Um, Western Digital does use this kind of plug. Here, I'll just take it out quickly. Um, Western Digital, for all their hard drives, has this kind of round power plug. Um, which is kind of nice because my parents have hard drives that they use for their work as a teacher. And I have my one terabyte, which I did a video of. Now, the plugs are interchangeable, which means you can just use this one uh, with any other. Okay, this to the side now. This is the Firewire 800. Like I said, this is what the 800 port looks like. You kind of see it's a squares. It's not too big of a cord, probably two feet or so. Uh, I'm not going to open this one up. Here's the USB 2.0, same size. I'm a little curious why they didn't put that in any plastic, but... Okay. The Firewire 400, and I'll show you the port on this one. Or no, this is the 800... Oh, well that's very interesting. The, the ports... The ports are interesting. They have one that plugs from 800 to 400. Um, I guess because I haven't looked at the back of this thing yet because this only uses 800. Now I'm going to open up the, the hard drive itself now. I'll just kind of move this into view. Make it better. Let's use it. Be very careful. So, like I said before, it's an extremely large and heavy hard drive. Not portable at all. Um, with my one terabyte, semi-portable, not too bad. It's about that big, about a third the size. Um, uh, no. And so, you know, it's about the third the size. It's a little bit more portable, but this is meant, you know, major, major uh, hard drive space and all that. Uh, I'll just turn it around so you can see the ports on the back, and I guess I was right. So, here you have the power button. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, power. You have the 800-800. Now, you know, I guess with Western Digital, when they gave you the Firewire 400 and 800, I think they meant plugs into 800, plugs into 800, and then one goes out to 800, one goes into 400. Um, I'm not sure why they didn't just have one, but okay. Here's the SATA port, which you can connect to a computer, and the USB, The it uses a MIDI to go into it, and a uh, normal to go out, and there you have a, the power supply. Uh, just some more little information about it. It has these little feet on the bottom, and you have your serial number. And now this light on the front with all Western Digitals it has this kind of thing that you know when you plug it in it'll go up and down and uh, stuff like that okay well this has been Marshall from Pacific Reviews and this has been the Western Digital Studio 2 4TB